Hello and welcome to your own channel Let's Talk Business once again. On 15th of January, THB, which is one of the largest specialty insurance and reinsurance broker in London market, announced that they have placed a risk, a very first risk through Syndicate 1796. And this is to support the stronger public health supply chain. Now, immediately after this, the insurance related media across the globe started covering this important development extensively. And you can see here is the article from the Bloomberg. THB places the first risk with global health risk facility through Syndicate 1796. It's on January 18. So I'm slightly late in recording this session, but still this is very important development for those who are having a very close eye on the London market developments. So in this short video presentation, we will discuss about this interesting development and important development too. And we will try to understand why this development is important and how this is related to London modernization program, which is the future at Lloyd's. So as always, there is lot to know and lot to discuss. So without waiting more, let's start talking business. So for those who are new to this channel, I I am Ravi Shankar. I am having more than 16 years of experience in business analysis, largely associated with PNC and general insurance domain. If you have any queries related to this video presentation or my previous video presentation, do reach me at my hotmail ID. I am also available on LinkedIn and Twitter, so you can also connect me over there. So we are dealing with the COVID pandemic from last close to one year and the research and development organization across the world is trying really hard to get the vaccine out so that we can return back to our normal life. But as the world is gearing up for the largest vaccine campaign in the human history, the risk of supply chain breakdown, especially in the low income countries, is really big. And we definitely can't ignore this. So billions of dollars of health commodities are shipped around the world every year and many of which require a very complex temperature controlled supply chain to remain safe and effective. And definitely a new approach is required to protect this vaccine to reach to their final destination. So keeping that in mind, last year the GHRF was set up in Lloyd's. The GHRF stand for Global Health Risk Facility. The GHRF will offer the all risk cargo coverage for the transit and storage risk related to COVID-19 and any other infectious diseases. So you can see over here, it's a public-private collaboration developed by the InsurTech Parcel. GHRF is designed to help to protect and support the global distribution of critical health commodities, including existing and newly emerging vaccines. So their aim is very specific. Their aim is to protect the distribution of critical health commodities. So last year, July, I published this short bulletin about the Lloyd's effort to deal with COVID pandemics and about the syndicate 1796. So it says that July 2020, Lloyd's announced that in principle creation of syndicate 1796 under the syndicate in a box program. The syndicate is a box program is one of the initiative within the uh, modernization program in Lloyd's, uh, which is called as the future of Lloyd's. The syndicate 1796 is set up to ensure the storage and transportation of COVID vaccine once developed to emerging countries. The new syndicate will be backed by 25 million of capital and has been developed by an insure tech called Parcel in partnership with insurer Escort and Exa Excel. And along with the broker Magrill and partner, it has also been supported by Gavi, an international organization that improves access to vaccine in low income countries. Now, very interestingly, 1796 is the year when Edward Jenner carried out the first experiment that would become the smallpox vaccine. So Edward Jenner actually did the vaccination experiment to develop the smallpox vaccination in year 1796. So syndicate formed the foundation of new global health risk facility at Lloyd's, which aimed to provide the comprehensive insurance and the risk mitigation services to support the manufacturing and distribution of COVID-19 vaccine. So, so here you can see that the Mr. John Neal is also equally excited about this development and there are many partners who is supporting the 1796 and we will talk about each of them in the next slide. Here you can see that this is the list of active syndicate 2021. 1796 is here. Pseudonym is EGM. It is status active. Name is parcel SIAB, syndicate in a box, managed by Escort Underwriting Limited uh, Managing Agent. CSN is uh, 5401 and uh, this is definitely developed under the syndicate in a box initiative. Going forward, this is another news from 15th December 2020 mentioned that the parcel syndicate 1796 set for January launch after securing 27.8 million US dollar from DFC banking. Now coming back to our news. So on 15th Jan, right, 
the THB. They said that they are proud to say that we place the first risk through Syndicate 1796, helping to support stronger public health supply chain. So let's see what this news is all about and what are the various moving parts over here. Again, the business wire, they covered this news extensively. They said that the THB places a first risk with the GHRF through Syndicate 1796. So what happened? The THB, they partnered with PFSCM and together they brought the risk to GSRF which is backed by the parcel syndicate 1796. Now the facility is anchored by syndicate 1796 and led by the escort managing agent and developed by the parcel. So it's a collaboration of parcel and the Lloyds. So last year December Lloyds and InsurTech parcel launched a global health risk facility GHRF to provide billions of insurance coverage along with the risk mitigation services. The central aim is to help to protect and support the global distribution of COVID-19 vaccine as well as the critical health commodities. All business from the GHRF will be originated through partial insurance and interestingly partial insurance is one of the Lloyd's cover holder holding the delegated authority from the syndicate 1796. So GHRF is supported by many global insurers and the reinsurance companies as well as the US International Development Finance Corporation DFC. Last year DFC as I said earlier approved a loan of 28.7 million US dollar to support this uh, syndicate and not only to support this syndicate just to offer the cost effective insurance policy for shipment of vaccine and medical product across the globe. The facility as I said is anchored by syndicate 1796 which is led by got underwriting managing agent and their aim was to start the operation by January so they started their operation and syndicate 1796 is also very special because this is the first public private partnership to address the global health emergency in Lloyd's in last 330 years of history so so the GHRF and the syndicate 1796 has been developed by the parcel we know in close partnership with Escort Underwriting as a managing agent and in cooperation with AXA, Excel, Magrill and partners and the Lloyds of London and there are many different participating insurers over here. So Escort definitely is there, XIXL is supporting, Chubb is supporting, Beasley is there, Talbot, QB, Tokyo Marine Clean and Aegis. These all insurers are supporting Parcel Syndicate 1796 and these insurers are getting their support from these reinsurance companies, RI which is Convex, Canopias, Hamilton and Renaissance Re. So there are a lot, a lot of support which Parcel Syndicate 1796 is getting from the industry. Critical feature of this insurance platform is the Risk Management Accelerator or RMA. And this RMA is separately developed and funded by participating syndicate in support of uh, consulting services of XIXL. The RMA will provide funding and the services to enable the eligible GHRF client to access the better data and the risk mitigation solutions, which will strengthen the vaccine supply chain. The RMA will fund range of services including conducting the surveys of location, supply chain risk, evaluation of various different type of risk. The Magrill and partners serve as a broker on the reinsurance and insurance placement in this entire deal. ENY, they have supported the initiative to establish the insurance entity at Lloyd's and design of RMA. Norton Rose uh, Fulbright, and uh, they are the legal advisor establishing the syndicate 1796 in Lloyd. So you can see that there are many different players across the industry. They came together to support syndicate 1796. So well, that's all from this short video presentation. I hope you have gained some knowledge. Uh, goodbye and take very good care of yourself during this pandemic days. Bye-bye and I will see you soon in the next video presentation. Bye-bye and take care.